purpose of this competition is to inspire the next generation of computer scientists and engineers. Well, this is important because it celebrates inventiveness, uh, innovation and creativity. We go out to all the schools and universities across the country and we invite teams to create an invention using the very small Raspberry Pi computer that solves a real life problem. This year, our theme is helping people live healthier lives. Our invention is a child-friendly motivational device which encourages children to go outside and get fit. You control it by a remote and we have programmed it on Scratch, which is a programmable device. And once the dog's moving, you'd follow it and once it starts running, then you'd start running with it. Our design is a very simple premise that allows people with physical disabilities to interface with computers using just their eyes. It uses a custom-made face detection and then on top of that identifying eye tracking. The software itself is, is just a foundation to build anything on really. We put as much time in as we humanly can. I think it would have been unhealthy to sleep any less. So. <laughs> it's a smoke detector and it's used for people with asthma conditions or younger children who don't want to be affected by high levels of smoke in the atmosphere. So this button just here tells you the exact smoke level smoke detector is picking up. We came up with a name for it today, which is the Epic Exercise Machine. It's a game that helps you keep fit by making you move around. You get this strap around you, but you put the actual metal on your pulse, and then when you touch the colour, the sensor's on, it counts as a point. It's an automated way to dispense your prescriptions after coming out of the surgery. So basically, when you're at the doctor's, you will be given a prescription, take it to the machine, insert it into the little slot, the webcam will then read it and send a signal to the relevant actuator and the medicine will be dispensed. It's much quicker and completely hassle-free because the pharmacy might be a long way away, it might be closed or you might have a bad leg. This is a Raspberry Pi doorbell. You've got a camera here, so when someone rings your doorbell, it can take a photo of them and send you an email. If you miss a delivery, they can call your phone and you can tell the postman, you can put it behind the bins. You've also got video recording, video streaming. You can store all of your security footage on YouTube. Well, we had a pretty intense discussion. But what was important was to see teamwork, creativity, different people with different skills working together. And the best entries had that. And that was what we chose in the final analysis. PA as an organisation gets very excited about creating the leaders for the future, so creating great people in schools, universities and in fact beyond. And so the winner is Fit Dog, well done. We're definitely going to come back again next year. So the winner is the Liverpool Blue Coat. It's a great idea and it's brilliant. And the winner is Revolution Pie. Amazing. I'm very proud of all the work that we've done. It's certainly paid off. It's absolutely amazing. And the winner is Hamoudi with his doorbell. Yeah, it feels good to win the award. And yeah, it's a good idea to get some feedback on your ideas. See you working in front of other people. It's quite nice. What this means to us as a foundation it's why we exist, so it's everything to us. To come along to a, a competition like this and to see what young people are doing, fantastic. We need to give young people and their teachers more space to be able to do projects like this because this is how they really develop skills and this is how they really understand what their own aptitudes are.